Hello everybody, this is the second in my series called The Wonderful Wizards of Access. And today we're gonna to go over the um, today we're gonna go over the input mask wizard, which really helps with data entry. By the way, to get the wizards on your computer with Microsoft Access, you have to make sure you did a full installation of Access from the CD. So in other words, when you're using um, the CD from Microsoft Office or Microsoft Access, don't just do the standard installation, do the full installation, and that way you'll get a lot of these wizards. So uh, I'm going to go into this table called Client List, and let's say I'm going to do a, a new record here, just type it in, and I'm just making up um, information here. Uh, we have a date here, so of course that's a date field. I'll just pick a date, address. Let's say that person's from Philadelphia. Now, in a previous uh, wizard, in a previous video, I showed you how to use the lookup wizard to make that pull down right there. Now, let's go over to the zip code. Now, a lot of times we like to have the dash come up for the zip code. This time I have to kind of type that in. So that's one thing I want to use the, the uh, input mask wizard for is to have that dash come up for the zip code. Now notice when I go to the phone number field, the parentheses and the dashes automatically come up. But when I use the fax number field, it doesn't happen there. So the reason that the phone number occurred like that is because of the input mask wizard. So let me show you how to use the input mask wizard to perhaps use uh, enhance the zip code and also the fax field. Uh, I'm going to close this window. Now I'll go back to the same table in Design View. I'm going to right click on the table and then pick on Design View. Uh, so the input mask wizard is really easy to use. I'm going to pick on the zip code field and then we see the properties for that field down below. So I'm going to click where it says input mask as the property and notice how the three dots will appear over here. Uh, if you click on the three dots that will activate the input mask wizard. Uh, so here we are. Now sometimes it will ask you to save the table. Uh, if, if I had made any changes to the table, it would ask me to save it at that point before the input mask comes up. Now notice how these are predefined um, you know, input screens for either a phone number, social security number, zip code, extension, even a password where it, when you type it in it would come up with the asterisk like that. Uh, the long time, the short time, the medium date, and the medium time. So in this case, Obviously, I want to use the zip code. Now, I want to hit the tab key, and the tab key will take me to my try it field. This is where you can try it before you buy it type of thing, okay? And I'm just going to type that in. Notice how the dash did come up, and that's what I want it to happen, all right? So um, that's what the input mask will do for the zip code. I'm going to pick on next. Now, you can pick on finish at this point, but I just want to show you what the next screen is going to be like. Uh, so you can change the input mask if you wanted to. By the way, the zeros means that those are numbers that are required, whereas the nines mean that that's a number that is um, not required. You don't have to type in the last four digits. So you can change that there if you wanted to. Uh, so the placeholder is uh, something that you can change there if you, uh, if you need to change that. And you can try it again down here. I'm going to pick on Next. Uh, now, you, as far as storing the data, you can either store the data with the dash or without the dash. So the input mask is just for appearance sake, but it's asking you if you want to store the dash or not in the actual data. Uh, that's up to you. And then we'll be done with the wizard at that point. I'll pick on finish. Now notice how the input mask wizard filled that input mask property in. Now by the way, if you want to make up your own input mask, you can do that. You can click on that input mask property and type in what you want it to. Now to find out what you would type in, click on that field and then hit the F1 function key on your keyboard. That will open up the uh, input mask help uh, in just a second. Here it is. Here's the input mask help, let's say for a text box. And then when you go into that help window, it really shows you what all of those characters mean. And then you can make up your own input mask. And then it even gives us some examples down below that. But the input mask wizard has a lot of those built right in. Let's try it again with the uh, fax number. I'm going to pick on the fax number. I'm going to pick on the input mask property and then pick on the three dots over here. That will activate the uh, input mask wizard. Now you can see this time it is asking me if I want to save the table. And of course I'll pick on yes. 
and then notice how there is one for a phone number. So I'll hit the tab key and try it out. And now notice how the parentheses and the dashes did come up. I'll pick on next here. So again, you can change that if you wanted to. You can change the placeholder. Now again, do we want to store it with the dashes and the parentheses or without? It's up to you. And then I'll pick on finish. And then it did fill in that, that input mask. Let's see the results that we have when we actually run our table. So I want to right click on the table and then we'll pick on the uh, data sheet view. I want to save the table. So let me go to a, a new record. And uh, here we'll pick a start date. Uh, let's say that Jane lives on 123 Market Street. Uh, Philadelphia. Uh, I'm going to use that pull down that I made on the lookup wizard on the previous video. Now notice when I go to the zip code field, the dash does come up. Uh, that was because of the input mask wizard. And now the phone number, the parentheses and come, uh, come up, but now that happens for the fax number as well. So you can see the input mask wizard is very helpful in pre-formatting your fields. Um, so to facilitate data entry.